Oh boy, good luck picking a favorite offensive lineman this year. It's Vash Lombardi. Thanks for tuning in. We're taking a look at Jedrick Wills, right tackle from Alabama. Somebody's going to ask me, yo, Vach, can he play left tackle? I think he can play left tackle. He is really fantastic. And I don't know why he's playing right. Uh, could be because he's comfortable there. Uh, could be because Tua's left-handed. That ain't Tua. But it could be because he's left-handed. I don't know. He's there. But you need two good tackles in the league. So if you need a right tackle, just pick him up anyway. Or you can plug him in at left. Whatever you want to do. Um, I just want to talk about how fantastic Jedrick Wills is today, man. And um. Let's start with his uh, with his pass setting, right? It's two ways to look at at passing, or at least there's two components to a to a to a pass block. It's how you travel, and it's how you deal with the adversity once you get there. Okay, let's take a look at this block from Jedrick Wills, and I want just just see if you see anything special about this pass set. Just just tell me if you see anything special about it. My goodness, please comment section. Just tell me if you see anything special about that. Peep this out, man. Uh, one thing that I always talk about when we're talking about pass blocking and pass rushing is you don't want to give up the inside. So normally you you hear coaches or you'll hear me hear me if you watch enough of my videos. I'll say, hey, just kind of stay parallel to your target and you'll be fine. That's a that's a good way out of it, right? You take a look at Jedrick Wills. Look at how his hips are parallel to his opponent but his shoulders are square to the line of scrimmage. I'm gonna play it slowly for you. Just take a look at him. Boom, 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 boom. See how he's opening up his hips, but he's keeping his shoulder square, just getting ready to engage there. What that's doing is that it's taking away even more options, right? Let's take a look at the other side at Leatherwood, right? Leatherwood got the right idea. You're just gonna keep your hips parallel to your, to your, um, to your defender, to your opponent. And to be fair, it works, but if you're like a really good defender, you can get inside on Leatherwood here. You can continue to bend outside if you want to, right? It's just how many, how many, um, how many safety precautions as offensive linemen uh, do we have in place, right? And Leatherwood safety precautions just kind of stand parallel to the defender. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the that's the best way to do it. But if you can stay parallel to to this defender, if you if your hips are parallel to the defender, you're taking away his outside rush. But he can't get back inside because your shoulders are still square. You see what I mean? We're just adding this extra layer of protection to your quarterback. Now, we don't have to do this every single time, but Jedrick could just be measuring here. This is really early in the game, so this could be the first pass set that he has against um, Bryant, number one here. This could be the first pass set that he has against him. Man, I don't know if he's going to use speed. He could be strong for a little dude. He like to take the outside. Let me just travel well with these fantastic feet and, regular, and just regular speed. Look at his feet traveling well okay he's going to keep those hips parallel to you taking away the outside he's going to keep those shoulder square until we get to the point of the rush where i know you're not going back inside now i'm going to engage with you punch right punch hands inside and i'm defeating my adversary that is top tier pass blocking right there children top tier like i said he ain't got to do that every single play but he did it on now and it was appropriate Let's take a look at um, Jedrick Wills here, right tackle. Let's look at how he travels. Let's look at how he's mirroring people, looking at his patience, looking at his hands. He got this thing figured out, man. He's fantastic at it. Uh, he ran into some good competition in this um, in this game or whatever. Uh, talking about Auburn. Uh, number one, uh, Bryant. The roster says his name is Big Cat Bryant. I don't know if Big Cat is on his birth certificate, but <laughs> he's one of their better pass rushers or whatever. Um, Jedrick ran into Derrick Brown this game. He he ran into uh, Marlon Davis and another draft pick coming out this year. So um, uh, Jedrick had his fair share of running into talented people. But I want y'all to take a look at this rush right here, right? The 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 same concept basically, right? I'm I'm dealing with every type of move that you can give me, Jedrick, right? He's in perfect position to where you really can't do nothing but try to run down the middle of me, right? If I get you to this point here. You can't go inside of me. You can't go inside of me because I've done a good job of closing off that space. I'm not overreacting to you. I'm not giving you my inside. Uh, you know you can't beat me on the outside because my feet are fantastic. Oh, if you get pissed off, you're just going to run down the middle of you. But that ain't good neither because Jedrick Wills has enough strength to stop people from trying to run down the middle of them. Come on, son. Let's take a look at him here. Fantastic. Doing it again. I, I I can only imagine the amount of frustration that he put people through. Go back to this. Wait a minute. <laughs> look, look, 
my goodness look at those feet Look at how he look at how he got back inside. And you know how he was so able to get back inside? Because he stayed square. Earlier we talked about traveling in terms of pass setting, right? So when we talk about traveling, you ain't always gotta do these big kick sets to where you're uh three yards into the backfield or whatever. Sometimes you just want a quick set. Quick set means you know you want to get your hands on somebody quick and just use your power opposed to using uh your quickness and your reaction speed. Sometimes you just want to grab people and just stop them from moving. I thought this play was interesting because, first of all, he, he's using quick set, so that means he has confidence in his power. If you're not a powerful offensive lineman, you're not using using quick set, so I thought that was a bit of information to display to y'all. But his quick set initially gets defeated. Let me just kind of slow motion this thing. Bop, bop, bop. And number one slaps back to the inside there. Technically, Jedrick Wills' quick set just got beat right there. But we're talking about how good of an athlete, how good of a pass setter is Jedrick Wills. Can he recover from this situation? And the answer is yes. Even though his hands were defeated here and it looks like the inside is about to be taken, Wills' feet are fast enough to get him back into the fight. To get him back into the fight. Now, I know the the defensive end, Bryant, that we're blocking right now is the one that batted the football down. I need my quarterback to not get his passes batted down or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to put that on us. But... To say that I got my quick set defeated, but my feet were quick enough to get back inside. Look at Wills' feet. Boom, back inside. Do it again. Da, 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 back inside. And I know a lot of people hate when I just rewind a whole bunch when I rewind it twice already. But you don't love football if you don't want to see that three, four, five times, man. Um, so, yeah, I said all that to say is Jedrick Wills has a good quick set. But if you're good enough to defeat his quick set, he has quick, quick enough feet. Um, quick enough feet to help him recover, recover uh, from you defeating his quick set. Here's another example of his quick set here. Coming off the ball quick, getting hands on you. Um, and, hey, this is something that's used a lot at these teams. I like to run a lot of RPO stuff, a lot of play action stuff to where I can't get upfield or I, I, I don't necessarily want to give up ground behind me. Cool, I'll just, take, like, I'll just pick my feet up, put them back down, put my hands in front of you and just stop you from moving. Hey, man, I'm not going to analyze this too long, man, but I'm just doing this for the O-line fans. If you're a former offensive lineman, current offensive lineman, O-line coach, or just a fan of the craft, why don't you take a look at this? Everybody cover your kids' eyes real quick. Look at Jedrick Wills right here. Look what he do. <laughs> Yo, son, come on, dog. Hey, man, what, what are you doing? Larry Allen used to do that, but he used to hit people in the head. You know what I mean? He used to smack people in they, in their helmet, and they'll fall down. Now, why are we doing this? Well, because they're running a screen on the play side and we're not really blocking people necessarily. We're just leading them upfield to keep them out of the screen. That's all we're doing here. It's not special. But the fact that Jedrick is smacking this man hard enough just to put <laughs> just smacking him enough to put him on the ground, man. That's it's just fun to look at, man. I just did this for the O line fans. I, I probably watched this play like a hundred times. That's just that's just that's just that's just good old line stuff, man. But of course, there's also the run game. Let's take a look at Jedrick Wills, how he deals with uh, Marlon Davidson here. He's just gonna listen, man. I always talk about uh, at 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 least if you're an offensive lineman, I want you to stalemate somebody, you know. And that's pretty much what the rest of the offensive line is doing. We got just stalemates across the board, right? But if you can get a little bit of movement, or if you can get somebody on the ground. I'm all about it, man. And this is another testament to Jedrick's power here, right? He's going to get to, let me get to this point here. He's he he's going to log that arm under Davidson's, right? You can see Jedrick's arm kind of in Marlon's armpit there. And he's just going to be strong enough to torque him and just to get him on the ground. And that's all right arm there, right? That's power. That's weight room. That's that's ass whoop, really. So maybe <laughs> Jedrick Wills got a spot on the ass whoop team, but um, boy, I, I'm I'm such a fan of that. Uh, what we got here? I wanted to highlight Jedrick's movement right here, right? Take a look at this outside zone. How he's just gonna scoop up under Derrick Brown right here, man. Look at this. If we run outside zone to the left, and we just gonna scoop. Look at this scoop block, man. So. My goodness, got got his head on the right side. He got his whole body on the appropriate side, and just <laughs> it just took Derrick Brown totally out this play, man. You see my man sixty five with that blocking the linebacker, man. This was this was this was capable, uh, 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 Najee Harris. This run existed because of your two backside blockers right here, and that's good vision by Najee to see it, but. 
Oh man, fantastic, bro. What else we got? What else we got? Uh, a down block by uh, a, a down block on Derrick Brown. Even more, even better, man. Uh, now, is he the most powerful run blocker that we have in this class? I mean, I don't know. Uh, let me keep watching film on him, but he he is a really good run blocker. He's also a really good pass blocker. Uh, this is him uh, comboing. Da, 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 boom! Gonna get a good little push on that on that combo block on Derrick Brown. There, we're gonna get to the second level, seal him off. Najee Harris once again has all the green grass in the world because of his right side. <laughs> just setting it up for him, and just look at how smooth Jedrick Wills get to the second level to block this linebacker right here fantastic bro so what's my assessment of jedrick wills i'm a fan bro i'm a fan but i've been a fan of the last three tackles and you know it's hard to find good offensive linemen in this league and it's rare that we have classes where um we have multiple offensive tackles that we like you know it could be like hey we got this one elite offensive tackle and a handful of guys that could play i think we got three top tier offensive tackles at the top of this board and of course teams are going to get lost in the funk and they're going to have to overdraft a lot of people and there's a few other tackles in this class josh uh josh jones from houston who may get overdrafted uh just because a run on tackles might happen um Austin Jackson uh, from USC is another guy that can be overdrafted because the run on tackles is going to happen. But this is a really good class, man. If you want to get your hands on some offensive line help, because you know, with the national football league, you need as much offensive tackle help as you possibly can get, man. But I'm a huge fan of Jedrick Wills, man. He does everything the right way. I'm, I got praises for him, man. Notice I ain't had nothing negative to say about him. I couldn't find much negative to say about it. The only negative you could have, and that's air quote negative, is that um he's just he he he's not a top tier run blocker. He's good enough as a run blocker. He's powerful. He got great feet, good hands and moving and all that. I just wouldn't call him top tier as a run blocker compared to some of the other offensive linemen that we've watched. But maybe he's the top tier pass setter between him and the other two guys that we've seen. So if you haven't watched my Makai Beckton film session, go watch that. If you haven't watched the Andrew Thomas film session, you should go watch that as well. So, um, Hey man, where do I rank Jedrick Wills amongst the other two offensive linemen that I've seen so far? Or like, where is he at? Uh, is he O-line number one, two, three, where I got him ranked right now? I don't know yet too soon. <laughs> 